Electronics have become so key for a northern angler, specifically in sonar. But quite frankly, one of the most important parts of, of, of electronics is still mapping. One of the things that you can do with these Lowrance units, it makes it very simple for you to de basically decipher how these contour lines run. This is a picture right here of Lake Winnebago. So all I'm going to do now is zoom in on a specific complex, Blackbird Reef. And all that is, is it's a big reef that has a lot of structure. You can see the contour lines all over the place. There's a ton of high spots, but when you look at the contour tours just in general there's so many of them that it can be tough to say where are those high spots and many times those high spots are where fish like to sit you might be pitching jigs or casting cranks to those high spots so what I'm actually gonna do when I go to a scenario like this is I'm gonna use what's called depth highlight range there's gonna be a depth range minimum and a depth range maximum so what I'll do then is go into depth range minimum and I'm gonna just punch it up a few feet and that's gonna show me all the areas throughout that entire complex in a dark blue that are high spots. And high spots can be very key. They hold a lot of fish. You might be casting crankbaits. You might be pitching jigs to those high spots. But then what I'll also do is I will look at not only just looking at the high spots, but also when I'm graphing structure, I can still make it very easy on myself, no matter what the weather conditions are, to have good boat control. I will bump that minimum range up to 10 feet. And now what it does is it goes around the entire Entire reef, all the high spots, and it's going to show me a very defined line, a colored line on that 10 to 12 foot contour. And that's very key. It makes it extremely easy for you to pull cranks on it, but stay in the zone that you want to stay in. So high spots with depth shading, uh, also break lines with that depth highlighting, always keeps you exactly where you need to be so you can keep those baits near the bottom and catch as many fish as possible.